The Quakers welcome Spennymore Town to Blackwell Meadows this afternoon as the first of a triple header of home games in a week. Alan Armstrong side looking to get their stuttering home form back on track while the visitors will want to continue their recent good form and gain some sort of revenge. They've been unbeaten since the sides met in the FA Trophy and Darlington triumphed 3-1. Mark Beck's departure dominated the discourse during the week and his absence is one of two changes to the Quaker starting 11 with Jake Lawler and Ben Little in for Mark Beck and Patrick Almond. New signings Nathan Newell and Theo Williams make the bench. For the visitors it's one change from the side that beat Bradford Park Avenue 3-2. Lebrun Baker comes in for Michael Ledger with new signing Connor Shanks on the bench. Headley finds little, little touches, a bit scruffy there, and uh, chance for Taylor to bring the ball forward. He gives it to Ramshaw on the right hand side. Ramshaw just right hand side, he's going to pull it back. Lawler got the ball caught under his feet there before the shot came in from the edge of the six yard box. But uh, And you look at him alongside, sort of with the front three of Lambert and Felix either side of him, it should still be a front three more than capable of causing anyone problems. Ball is plays broken up there by Perver, but comes to Glenn Taylor on the edge, and Jazz Sukar's just caught him there for the free kick on the corner of the 18 yard box, a couple of yards off the corner of the 18 yard box. Jack Lambert's the only man in a one man wall cover on Tommy Taylor's front post, but McEwen steps up, just dinks it into the box, one for everyone to attack, and James Curtis is the man who gets there first. He's going to enjoy that one in front of the tin shed. Curtis uh, gets the opener for Spenny Moon, nine minutes in on the clock exactly. Simple right footed delivery from McKeown bent in and James Curtis rising highest in the six yard box. It's a nod home from close range, nothing Tommy Taylor could do about it. And the visitors who were in good form now have the lead here at Blackwell Meadows after just nine minutes. Lovely little ball to dink into the box mm. there from a nice spot and uh, delivery. Curtis couldn't really miss could he once he got there first, he's only close in when he did it. He, uh, probably took him all his control to try and not wind everybody up in the tin shed which I think he just about managed to do in, uh, 11 or 12 minutes no just tried to let that one go across him and Callum Ross had read it already and came in to intercept ball played forward Headley's made a bit of a mistake there man running into the box with a chance to pull it across half scuff clear chance comes that's a fantastic block by Jake Lawler because that was going to be the second mm. I think it was Glenn Taylor had the shot Headley made the mistake to play Darlington into trouble. He Darlington really struggling it, at the it? moment. Ball picked up there eventually by Moke, then Lambert. Lambert's got a chance to drive. He plays Hazel down the left-hand side. Hazel steps over, gets past his man. He's on the corner of the box, pulls it across. It's behind Felix. Unlucky though, no, no, uh, the, the right ball could have worked out. And then Felix slides in. John Darlow's just dialed in from Barbados. I'm afraid Darlington <laughs> a goal down, John. Sure, that's not spoiling your day in Barbados too much. Alex Perver plays the ball back to Jake Lawler, whose touch is heavy. The second touch is a tackle, but it's a good one. Finds Griffiths. Griffiths looking to try and get Felix running up against Curtis. Curtis gets to the ball first. Felix picks, picks his pocket, finds Hazel. Hazel steps across, plays it all the way across. Chance for Lambert if he can move his feet. Gets it onto his left foot, has the shot. Back of the net, through the goalkeeper's legs, through Dan Legley's, Langley's legs. Lambert gets Darling the equaliser. Just as I was starting to wonder whether he was taking a little too long on that, but he proves me wrong. Jack Lambert equalising for Darlington just six minutes after they'd gone behind. Good work from Felix initially, preventing James Curtis from shepherding the ball out. He plays it back to Hazel. Hazel cuts it across to Lambert. He needs a couple of touches to set himself, but he finally gets it away through Langley's legs into the back of the net. 1-1. Darling back on level terms, good finish from Jack Lambert, took it onto his left foot, great play by Kane Felix to wrestle the ball off Curtis and then Jacob Hazel unselfishly playing it across the six yard box as well when he could have had a shot, made it, the, it was the right decision in the end, yeah. Darlington back on level terms. We said our front three can still be trouble for anyone in this league, all three of them involved in that one finished by Jack Lambert, his 12th of the season in the league, he's now our leading scorer in the league of course in the absence of Mark Beck. And the Quakers come forward looking for another. Wouldn't let Curtis Shepard that one out. Got his reward. Hazel comes out of the box to pick the ball up. Then Darlington uh, will get a, a free kick there as Griffiths was fouled. Lifted everything in the tin shed. Lifted the mood around the place here. Darlington free kick. Lambert is on it with Little. Lambert's going to take. It's, it's uh, come to come to uh, Lawler off a of Spenny Moore place. Just gone a couple of yards wide. 
throw in comes down the line. Taylor wins it under pressure from Lambert. Ben Little gets on the next ball. Hazel's going to try and run at it. Woonwell's comfortably there first. Ball played forward. Jazz Sukar just uh, volleys it back into uh, the middle. James Curtis gets there ahead of Felix. Perva slides into a 50-50. The ball bounces off and comes to Callum Griffiths. Griffiths trying to switch play. Does well. Good ball. If Lambert can keep it in, Lambert can keep it in. He's got Woonwell up against him. Lambert gets his cross, gets it all the way across. Jacob Hazel, diving header. Darling go 2-1 up in the 20th minute here. Five minutes third round from the Quakers. It starts with a great ball out to the left-hand side from Callum Griffiths. Jack Lambert has work to do to keep it in. He does. Finds a great ball into the area. Jacob Hazel gets his head on it. Nods it into the back of the net. And from five minutes ago being behind, the Quakers lead. Great play again, Lambert. Griff, great switch from, uh, from Callum Griffiths. Lambert gets the cross in early and Hazel just gets across the front of his man. Gets his head to it, puts it past Langley. Great goal from Darlington. Darlington 2-1 up. Superb, this game has turned around. ball in from Jack Lambert. We've just seen it again. As they go in search of an equaliser now. After having a lead for all of six or seven minutes and then being behind 11 minutes after they've taken it. Taylor comes and clears the ball from outside his box. Hazel gets the flick on. Little's timed his run well to get on it there. He finds Lambert, left-hand side. Lambert has Little coming across him. Lambert with a chance to shoot, but can't quite get his foot around that there. Well, left of normal time in this first half. Darlington with a 2-1 advantage. Spenny Moore in possession through uh, Blackett on the centre spot. Driving forward again. Darlington will do well to see this little spell out till half-time. Ball's down the left-hand side. Chance for the shot, straight into the chest of Tommy Taylor. Nobody able to get across the front of him. Just chips the ball down this right-hand side for Woomwell. Lambert comes and scampers across the press. Ball played forward for Ramshaw. Oh, the referee's given the free kick on Little there. I think this time he is going to see the yellow card. I'm not quite sure whether... I'm not quite sure that was even a foul, personally. Piece again, it's another one for Spenny Moore to put in the box. This one's clipped in around the penalty spot. It's a free header straight in towards Tommy Taylor makes a good save to his right. Actually, it was Mbeka who was there first, the other centre half this time, and Tommy Taylor makes a fine save. They are getting some joy out of those free kicks from McCune. I think that's the fifth one we've allowed them to put in from that spot, though. We could do without making the, the fouls in the first place. Indeed. Although, I suppose, as you say, question marks over whether that one was a foul, but but conceded it back to him sort of cheaply and he just sort of hooked it over his head and the flag went up. Didn't really matter that would have said so that much, phase of play was over. Yeah. Ball played forward. Felix beaten to it in the air. Ball is headed clear by Sukar. Curtis gets there ahead of Hazel. Perver in the right place at the right time to break play up. Finds Lambert who prods it through to Little. Little's trying to get Hazel running here. Hazel's in between the two defenders. He's in the box. It's tucked under the goalkeeper under Longley. Darling three, Spenny Moore one, Jacob Hazel with his second of the day. The Quakers get some breathing space. That is exactly the start the Quakers needed to the second half. Lambert prods the ball through to Ben Little. He takes it down the left-hand side, plays a perfectly weighted pass down the centre. Jacob Hazel runs onto it, a couple of touches, slides it past Langley. Darling three, Spenny Moore one, Jacob Hazel needed to step up today. He's got two. Tinshed enjoyed that one. Lovely little through, little little prod through from Lambert to Little. Little's delightful through ball from Little. Absolutely inch perfect. Hazel's running in between the two centre backs. Gets there just ahead of them both and just torpokes it underneath Langley. I think lovely finish. You could be right. Ball played down the left hand side to Jack Lambert. Lambert takes a touch, brings it inside. He's got a couple of players up in front of him. Well, one of them was Felix. He tried to find Felix on the run there, but it was intercepted. So Spenny Moore with Mbeka coming forward again he finds Lefudu. Lefudu just crosses the halfway line he's going to have a run at uh, Headley again plays a little ball through it's, it's a half sliding challenge but there's a player into the box here chance Taylor has to make a good save Lefudu coming through the middle there wasn't he this time Lefudu again that's a handball by Hazel I think but the referee didn't see that one but if it's going to just take his time 17 minutes gone in the second half Griffiths chips it into the box for everyone to attack and Becker gets the header hey, Fel uh, Hazel's on the edge of the box he finds Felix inside the box can he move his feet he can has the drive not too far away from Kane Felix just moved his feet got the drive away Taylor coming back to do some defensive work 
finds uh, Ross. Ross comes back to James Curtis. Curtis to Taylor, still inside his own half. Moke does well, dispossesses him fairly and has the chance to drive forward. Felix is outside him, Moke still driving, finds Felix. Felix has to wait for the ball to get to him a little bit. Dinks one up though, Langley gets ahead to it, comes back to Hazel. Hazel couldn't get the header goal bound from inside the six-yard box. That would have been, uh, yeah. that would have been game over, wouldn't it? It certainly would. 4-1 Darling, Hazel hat trick. Certainly could have been. Wasn't any pace. Go, does he go for it a little too early, perhaps? Yeah, didn't quite time the header. There wasn't any pace on the ball. Langley had just palmed it up in the air. So it would be a brave man to take Jacob Hazel off after mm. a score, after being on a hat trick, but also need him for Tuesday night as well. Indeed. So you do wonder. Definitely a week where the full squad will be needed. Kane Felix covered plenty of ground as well. Ball played forward. Taylor wins the header. Uh, plays it inside. Griffiths. Decides to just clear it over his shoulder, low risk, and uh, Spenny Moore picked the ball up. It's on the edge of the box, trying to make a little bit of space. He's gone down in the box. Oh, it's come to the Spenny Moore play. It's fallen into him beautifully. A little stroke of luck. I think it's Shanks, isn't it? I think it was Blackett. Was it Blackett? Spenny Moore just had ball scored by number 31. Well, Shanks. It was Shanks. Just come on. I mean, he, he, how's Ready your look? Because Shanks. that ball fall, fell for him beautifully there. I mean, it just was came it off the Taylor defender. Trying to make himself some space in the area and it drops loose. Shanks yeah. into the roof of the net. Didn't shank it. All over the place, not just in the National League North. So it's about those fresh legs now. And which side oh. has the most left in them for the last 15 oh, with Curtis finds minutes. Shanks Shanks finds Kendall left hand side he's got Ramshaw ahead of him Kendall puts the cross in good one to attack goes all the way to the back post has the shot good save Taylor is going to keep that ball in try and clear it clears it down the line Headley gets there ahead of his man finds Little Little turns it around the corner Williams is inside the box here Williams with a chance to shoot drags it just across oh. the face of goal Theo Williams that would have been a moment on your debut <laughs> it would have wouldn't it but uh Unfortunately, the left foot shot as he finds himself with some space in the area. Just plays the ball forward. Only finds a red shirt though, so it's Spennymoor who come back again. It's Lefudu who's wide on against the sideline. Crosses it first, first time. Hits uh, one of the Darlington defenders on the midriff and goes behind for a corner. Makes me wonder if Headley's going to move into midfield now. Maybe it's five at the back. Or five I would have thought. Back, perhaps, yeah. One That's minute. A better shout of the 90 normal minutes remaining. Chance for Spenny Moore from the corner, kicking towards their few fans behind the goal. Chipped into the box. It's gone all the way across everybody. It's took a deflection. Is it going to be cleared off the line? It is cleared off the line by Callum Griffiths, I think. Rose gets his head to the next ball. It was there for an agonising yeah, amount of time without anyone there. getting a touch. Felix is going to try and let this ball run out for a Darlington throw and does so. Well done, Kane Felix. Very well done indeed. Needed that. But heart in mouth there for most of the 1,900 inside Blackwell Meadows as that ball bobbled around dangerously a yard or two from Tommy Taylor's goal mouth because ball's been out of play and there was a substitution but that is six minutes of added Dan time Dan Langley has come all the way out of his goal to take this free kick just inside you'll hear the what this means half. to the crowd Langley takes it edge of the box Lawler's under it clears it referee blows a full time whistle three points for the Quakers Darling emerge from this game with County Durham rivals with a 3-2 win it's been an up and down week, Mike, but what a way to finish it. The weekend's on a high. Blackwell Meadows breathes a huge sigh of relief. It's for the first time since November. The Quakers take three points at home. And for the visitors, they wait for a win in this fixture that they haven't had since 2020. And their unbeaten run is over as Darlington become the last two sides to beat Spain.